Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. If you're joining me on premiere night, welcome to the caboose on the Choo Choo Tuesday premiere train. I giggle every time I say it. Um, I'd like to thank um, uh, Holly with the Morning Pour for being the conductor on this train. She's the one who got us all organized. Um, and before me, you also would, should have seen uh, Lori Houston and Camille with their videos. If you missed any of them, the links will be in the uh, description box below my video here. Um, and uh, in tonight's episode, it's a twofer because I just recently received a very large commission. There's a new hotel opening our area and they've asked me to do two paintings for every one of their rooms um, and six large tabletops for their restaurant. I'm very excited to get started. So uh, tonight's episode are the first two paintings um, and I think for the next several Tuesdays, uh, each of them will be tubers also. So um, I hope you stick around till the end for the close-ups of the wet and the dry results. Um, in the description box below this video will be the links to um, all my uh, fellow um, artists, uh, but also um, the list of the colors that I've used and detailed descriptions of the technique. So thanks again. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and um, enjoy. Hello everyone. I uh, Thank you very much for being here with me. I'm doing a little uh, playing around in the uh, studio again. I found this uh, metal plate as part of a sink strainer in the hardware store and I thought oh that might make a really cool pattern if I pour on top of it and then lift it off of the canvas and the paint goes through all of those little holes it might create a cool little pattern so um, of course I thought about uh, doing a flower with it and um, I super glued some um, uh, some uh, nuts here or I'm sorry some uh, uh, screws to it um, uh, to disrupt the flow a little bit and hopefully create those kind of petals. And it also gives me a way to be able to lift this off of the canvas also. So uh, before we get started though, I have um, uh, measured out to find my center. Before I get started, let me show you my colors. So Okay, so this is Amsterdam's uh, Permanent Blue Violet. This is Amsterdam's Titanium White. I have Amsterdam uh, Permanent Magenta. Amsterdam's Quinacridone Rose Light. This is Amsterdam's Azo Orange, and I toned that orange down a bit by adding in a little bit of uh, Naples Yellow Red. Um, so it's not quite as shocking orange. Uh, the yellow, however, is still pretty shocking. This is uh, Amsterdam's Azo Yellow Lemon. So um, those are my colors. Let me show you the consistency using the magenta. This does leave a mound on a mound on a mound. When I drizzle a little stick around like this, the lines hold for about five or six seconds. So it's a really nice, thick consistency. So my lines should hold pretty well. Um, and um, I've chosen colors that all play pretty well together, except these two colors will make mud. So I'm going to make sure uh, and actually the yellow and the purple don't do great together either. So I'm going to make sure, or I'm going to try, uh, when I layer my cup that I keep the purple and away from the yellow and the orange. But other than that, all these colors should play really well together. Um, I have some, I've just mixed it up so there's lots of bubbles, but um, I've got some, um, a, a mix of several different colors of green here that I will use. I've thinned it way down so that it's, um, not even leaving a mound when I drizzle it into the, the cup, uh, but I will use that as a flow extender after I have poured my cup. So let's get started. First color in is the last color out. I want the center to be um, very light, so I'm going to start with a little bit of Amsterdam Titanium White and some of the Azo Yellow. That will come out of the cup last, which means that it will be in the center of the flower shape. So that's what I'm hoping anyway. All right, so from there, let's build out with some azo orange. These first layers are going to be fairly small. A little bit of the light rose pink. 
magenta. Now the magenta looks uh, a little on the pink side because I have mixed it with my pouring medium, which is white. Um, so kind of a creamy white color. So when you mix it with the paint, um, that magenta, it turns it a little pink, uh, but when it dries, it will dry red. So then we're gonna go in with our darkest color, which is the blue violet. And on top of that, a little bit of white. There we go. So, that's a good first layer. Now let's mix up the cut the order a little bit. I want to go back to the yellow, then into the pink, which were not next to each other last time. And then orange on top of that. Magenta on top of that. I'm going to end with the purple again on that layer. A little more white. And then our last layer. Let's see here. Let's go. That purple is there, and I don't want yellow and orange next to it. So we're going to go with the pink. Light rose. And uh, let's go with the magenta. And then the orange on top of that. is our layered cup. Hope you can see that. Turned out pretty cool. Looks delicious. <laughs> um, looks like candy. Okay. Rub that in. Won't make a difference at all. And yep, let's go ahead and place our tool. go. Looks good. So, ring pour right in the center. Here we go. This is gonna be cool. Okay, we're gonna let that set. Anytime you move paint, you create air bubbles. So we're gonna let it sit for a minute or two while those air bubbles work their way up to the top. And in the meanwhile, we're going to put down our flow extender. Get this all the way around. I'm using this bright green because if it leaves any negative space on the pour, I think it'll help enhance the, the look of it being like a flower. I like the greenery behind it. And it's just kind of a shocking green color, wow. The rainy season has started back up again here in Costa Rica, so you're going to hear uh, some weird noises. 
like that right there, which is a cane toad. <laughs> I always think it sounds like they're saying Fran. Fran. Like, I don't know who Fran is or why they're looking for her, but I hope they find her soon. <laughs> there we go. So the purpose of this flow extender is uh, to get the canvas, the dry portions of the canvas, wet enough that the colors that I've poured float over top of it and I don't lose any more of the, uh, the point of the pour, which is the, these beautiful colors that we've created. This is going to be really cool. I'm super happy with this already. Okay, let's wipe off our tool and then we'll give it a torch. Use some of the paint from the table here just to wet the, the sides. I'm not worried about coverage. I just want the paint to flow over the edges evenly. So we're going to wet that surface down. And I'm stalling just a little bit longer. Hopefully more air bubbles come up through that paint while I'm doing this little task. Here we go. Okay. So before we do anything else, we're going to Bubbles. Lots of bubbles in the green flow extender. These lines are amazing. I'm going to wreck it a little bit and bring that color out. centered on that one. Oops. Very, very pretty. Okay, we're going to leave that there while we spin a couple of times. Nice moved out a little bit. There are some cells coming up here. Even though I have no metallics, we are going to get some. Yep, it's trying to lose some of that green off of the sides. We're fairly even. It's a little closer to this side, but we've got enough paint here. This canvas is 18 by 18 inches, which calls for about 12 ounces of paint which is exactly what that cup held. So we should have plenty of paint here to at least get to the sides. Wow, really, really nice. I think, hmm, to see. Okay, we're getting close to the center. I see there's still a lot of paint in the center, so I'm going to remove that little thick tool I created. I just want to make sure I don't drip any paint. So let's go ahead and take this out, see what it does. Wow, the tool itself is really cool. Look at that. Can you see that? I don't want to drip it all in my canvas. Oh, it's pretty. Wow, that's some bubbles there. Doing a weird thing right here, so I'm 
is going to, there we go. Magic eraser. <laughs> okay, let's spin this out a couple more times. See if we can get rid of a lot of that dirty. Not shifting much, so I think we're almost done. I'm a little afraid to spin it more because if I'm going to have green, this much green on this side, I want it a little bit over here so it's balanced. So let's look at this for a second. Maybe I can leave it the way it is. So here's the overhead view. It's a pretty flower. I'm really happy with the results here. I'm not sure. I don't think that green was the right idea. I, uh, I mean, I liked the idea, but I don't like the uh, that particular color. I think it's too something. <laughs> but let me take you in for some details here. That center, look at the center. It came out so cool. The patterns that it created in there are just amazing. Really, really cool. And uh, some of these lines coming out here. Look at these lines here. Some multicolored cells. Come off my stool, stool here. Really, wow. <whistles> Love that. Really, really pretty. Right in there. Look at this section coming up right here. Oof. Look at that. So pretty. I like how it's darker on the outside edges and gets lighter in the center. That part of the plane worked out really well. I think I'm going to do the exact same colors and I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do the lighter colors on the outside and the darker on the inside next time. And, uh, yeah, but this section right here, wow, look at that, gorgeous, really, really loved it, lovely, lovely, lovely. We have a truck going past, lots of traffic tonight, unfortunately, of course, while I'm trying to film. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. I Super happy with this. Okay. So that is the final. I don't think I'm going to wait. I'm going to go ahead and do a second one right now. So here comes the next one. Okay, round two. Here we go. I've got my new canvas set up. I've got the X made so I could find the center. I've got my MacGyvered <laughs> um, pouring tool ready. I've got another 12 ounce cup. So let's go ahead and start layering. I'm going, I want the center to be dark on this one. So I'm going to put a little bit of blue or the um, blue violet in the bottom, followed by a little bit of magenta. Oh, <laughs> 
So overhead view of the second one. Again, I think these colors are fantastic. I do like having the dark in the center versus the uh, the light. I need to um, go in and pop bubbles again, but I was too excited to show you these details. That center is amazing. And the wreck that that um, little pouring tool I created leaves is really, really cool. I did swirl the center on this one. It was a little too messy, um, but I think that turned out pretty cool. I like that. But these, these um, almost like, I don't know, zebra or tiger stripes or something. That's fascinating. Really cool. And coming out from there, following out the petals. Really, really nice. That almost has a blue tint to it. Look at that. I wonder what colors made that. Must have been the blue, violet, and the white. But wow. Really, really, really nice. Love it. I love that shocking pink in there. All of these lines and colors are gorgeous. I love that section. Look at that. So beautiful. Everywhere that those wrecks are, it carries those lines all the way out and kind of um, spins them out. Look at that. So beautiful. I love that. Wow, look at that one. Coming from here out. Wow, beautiful. This one over here has a, I don't know, it's the Eye of Sauron or something from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Very cool. I love that. I love the way that this spun out too, this um, outside line. Very organic on the outside edges this time. Really cool. All right, so there's the twofer for the evening. I hope you enjoyed my tropical flowers. Thank you very much for sticking to the end. Dry results coming up next. Uh, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're always uh, want to let you know when my next video comes out or my next premiere is. And um, yeah. Come back and see me sometime. Good morning, everyone. So these are the dry results of the two uh, flowers that I've done. The, um, uh, the colors dried beautifully. Take you in for a bit of a close up here. As I thought that um, magenta dried a lot more red than pink. It's beautiful. Really super happy with that. And then the companion piece, the second one that we did, got propped up against my little palm tree here. <laughs> Looks great. I love the darker center on this one. Uh, a lot more orange. Again, very, very happy with this. So I thought I'd get up a, a little earlier so everybody could hear the bird song in the background here. Always something making noise in Costa Rica. There's so much wildlife. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. See you next time.